Hello again and welcome to my channel. I'm Fraser from Metalworking in France. I've got a, a quite a heavy job on today. Uh, I've got to make a bush to go inside quite a large piece of steel. Um, you'll see the, the, the turnings of this bush. It's got to have a cone shaped in one end. Um, I don't have the other piece that g it goes into it at the moment, but I do know the taper. And it's got to have a keyway cut in it as well, which is going to be a little bit more tricky as well. So um, follow me in the next few frames and you'll see how I go about doing this job. It's a little bit more complicated and I'll try and explain it as I go along uh, what I'm actually doing. Rather than just showing you what I've done, I'll try, and, I'll try and show you why I'm doing it. Okay, so follow me in the next few frames and see how this job goes. Here we see the solid billet of steel I'm going to be machining. Now I'm turning down the outside diameter. I've speeded this up uh, slightly so that uh, you don't get too bored watching me machine this down. The first stage, obviously, I'm just taking it roughly. I've put a center in the end of it so that uh, it just holds it uh, that little bit firmer um, because I want to machine basically all the way down the whole thing. So uh, yeah, that, that's coming on quite nicely. Here you can see I'm putting in uh, quite a large drill and then I'll bore this out uh, a little bit just to allow for the relief on uh, at the back end. Here you can see I'm putting a drill through. Uh, this is just a, a 14 millimeter drill just to allow for the, the clamping screw that's going to go through to hold this into the workpiece. Uh, I've, you know, I've speeded it up again just so that uh, it, uh, it doesn't take too long to drill through. Uh, obviously, I'm not running it as fast as this to actually do the job. Here you can see I'm boring the, uh, the taper cone effect. Um, I'm just boring this, I'm turning this by hand, basically. I have to uh, or rather feed it by hand. Uh, I can't use the automatic feed on the machine because I don't have a taper attachment. So I'm just winding this by hand manually. Again, I've speeded it up a little bit because it's obviously I can't turn it that quickly uh, to do the, you know, when I'm doing it by hand. Um, the last little bit of this bit, uh, I shall speed it up uh, just so that uh, it doesn't get too, bore too boring to do this. So you'll, you'll basically see the finished diameter. So uh, yeah, I've, I'll use a bit of coolant on it at the end as well. So here I'm using the, the wobbler, uh, the old trusty wobbler once again. Uh, just run this at a fairly, you know, reasonable speed. Uh, when it kicks off to the left, then I know that the edge of the, or the center of the, uh, of the wobbler is five millimeters from the edge of the workpiece. I'll just take that away. I've now zeroed this dial just here. I'll know, and then I'll wind this over approximately, uh, well, not approximately, but exactly five millimeter, which will be, which will give me the edge, or sorry, the center of the wobbler on the edge of, of the material. I now need to wind over half the diameter of the material, of the, the job itself. So I'll know it, which is 68.9 millimeter diameter. So I'll have to wind this over 34.45. Okay, so we go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34.245. Okay, so that should be the center of the workpiece, which is, I will show you this. I'll attempt to show you this, I should say. So we'll go around. And then we'll zoom in on this piece here. 
bit jerky, I'm afraid. But there you go. That's the the wobbler in the centre of the workpiece. I'll now take the take the wobbler out. I'll remove the wobbler and put a, a slot drill in. Here I'm putting in a slot drill. Uh, I've drilled a hole in the end, uh, just basically uh, so I know how far to go along. It's not critical, it's just that uh, I need to know where the base of the cone is really. So uh, I'll just keep milling away at this a little bit at a time, about uh, half a millimetre or a millimetre maximum cut. Um, so I, I don't want to burn the cutter or anything like that. So. It's cutting quite nicely actually at the moment, so it's not too bad. So here we have the slot completely cut it, cut through the wall of the of the uh, the product or the item. Uh, I'm going to fill that now with a 10 mil piece to form a keyway on the inside. As it's tapered, it's very difficult to cut a a keyway inside. So I'm going to make up a, a, a wedge basically to go in there, uh, 10 mil thick, and then I can sit it in and, and set the depth so that it's about five mil uh, deep for the uh, for the key to go in. Okay, let's get on with the next bit. Now you can see I'm just going to weld this piece in. Uh, I've marked it up and measured it. In. It's in the right uh, in the right depth, so uh, you have to excuse the, the jiggling around a little bit. And it's a bit difficult to to video this uh, and keep it in frame. Uh, oh, you don't really want to see my face. That's not uh, not very good. But um, anyway, I'll just weld this up, um, and then once I, once I've finished welding this, uh, I'll just grind off all the excess. And then it can it can fit into the the workpiece it's got to go into. So uh, this work this is welding in quite nicely. Um, so we're we're doing all right here. Sorry you can't see very much, but I'm afraid that's the way it goes. As you can see, this is uh, quite a big chunk of steel. Uh, I'll turn it over and let you see the other side. Uh, not that that really matters because. Uh, it's just a hole that can so that it can be located, but in the meantime, uh, as you can see, this is the the, the important bit uh, with the cone and the keyway in it. Okay, so this is the other side. As you can see, it's a massive piece of steel. Uh, it it probably weighs in at about 30 or 40 kilos, uh, maybe more, but it's pretty heavy anyway. So you can see the insert I put in there. Uh, obviously this will take a screw to hold it in place. Uh, the, the, the insert I made and it's welded in there now, so that's fine. Well, there we are. That was quite a big job in the end. Uh, I couldn't get the, uh, the keyway cut um, in the normal way, basically, um, because it was, it, we were going into a, a, an inverted cone. So uh, what I had to do, I had to cut a slot through the, uh, the, the workpiece itself and inset another piece of 10 mil uh, steel, weld it in place uh, and that would form the keyway for me. Um, as you've seen in the video, I hope this explains everything, but it was a bit complicated, but it turned out okay in the end. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and obviously if you have any comments to make, please do so. And in the meantime, uh, enjoy the videos and look out for more videos in the future. Okay, I'll bid you farewell. Goodbye.